Hi, welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and I'm here in my California studio in the middle of a, doing a workshop. And today's lesson happens to be, well, single items. And what else? What a great way to start the day, coffee cups. So I paint flat on a table, flat, and I have my canvas here today ready to go. I have my Holbein orange gesso. Any color gesso will be fine, but I'm using orange today. I have my primary colors, yellow, red, blue, and some black, and some white titanium over here. My bucket of water ready to go. Big bucket of water, not tiny little coffee cups, right? And my brushes, and let's get started. So first I put some hand barrier cream on my hand. This happens to be called Skin Safer, okay? because I tend to get a lot of paint all over my hands too. It just makes it easier for me to clean my hands at the end of the day. Okay, so I've got this stuff all over my hands. Now I'm going to put some orange gesso on my canvas. I like to tone my canvas. There we go. With a warm tone. I'm using a paper towel here. Paper towel. Rub it in. I don't use a brush. It takes too long. Okay, I am now ready to go. So vessels, uh, it's a good way to practice doing simple little everyday items, okay? Glasses and, and uh, whatever you've got sitting around. But here, a coffee cup, it's a vessel. Speaking of vessels, thank you. This is a side comment. Thank you for all those nice comments that you've sent to me. I just had a show at the uh, Elverhoy Museum in Solvang, California, uh, all about my vessels, large paintings of vessels, all about collecting things. Having, having to do with manna from heaven. So today we're doing vessels. Here's my coffee cup. Now, if you remember a couple of blasts ago, we talked about painting things that make them look like things. And the way to do that is you've got to have a light and a dark somewhere. And this one, you see a definite stream of light coming in from the left-hand side, lights up that ball, and on the dark side, no light goes around the corner. But then again, it lights up the back wall. So we're going to do that with a coffee cup. Instead of a round thing, we now have a column. Let's, let's get painting. First, get the coffee cup out of the way. How many times have you dipped your brush in a coffee cup and drank your dirty water? Every time. So, coffee cup out of the way. Here we go. Come on in here, let's take a look here. First thing I'm going to do here is a coffee cup. Okay, so it's a column. I'm gonna give it a nice big, give it a uh, nice, there you go. You're just so happy that the oval ended up the same, right? And of course, then we have the sides. The sides come down like this. Down like, a little bit like that. I don't like that shape. Let's try this shape. Oh, much better shape. There you go. And remember, whatever this radius is, it's going to be the same radius here. So many of you do it straight across. It's the same radius, same radius. And we're going to be able to see the coffee inside. And so I'm going to do the same radius. I'm going to have it sitting on a table. We might even put a handle. There we go, the handle way in the back, out of the way. That's the basic outline, and now let's get painting. The next step is deciding where the darks and the lights are. So let's do that. I'm gonna start off with the lights. I have some yellow, my brush, some white on my brush. Here we go, the light side of the cup. There we go. So it's shining over here. And then maybe the top of the handle. Get some, okay? And by the way, you let some of that orange peek through, some of that gesso, that's what gives it its, its je ne sais quoi, all those little pieces of orange peeking through. It's a lot more exciting, all right? So now we have that side of the vessel painted light. Now, while I had that light color on my brush, which happens to be kind of a whitish yellow, I'm going to also paint the background a little bit so I know where it is. There you are. And inside here, inside here, there we go, inside that cup. Because the light's coming across, shines here, shines here, and in the back side over here on the wall. Now let's put in the darks. I already have the mid-tone down. I'm going to put in the darks now. There we go. So inside the cup, we'll make it nice and dark. There we go. And the back side over here. Back side. There we go. No lights coming across. Kind of a bluish purple color ended up. <laughs> Again, let some of that orange peek through. Short, choppy strokes. 
We're not blending here. This is not uh, airbrush class. Nothing wrong with blending. It's just that this is a painting. So I'm going to show people that it's a lot of fun to paint. <laughs> so show them the brush marks. We're painting the inside now. Dark coffee. Oh, also, you want to anchor it. Make sure you put a wrap, uh, dark edge on the bottom. It helps to anchor the coffee cup. And now uh, we're going to put a shadow in here. In this case, we're just doing this since I have that dark color on my brush. Now, this isn't the way I always use these colors. Sometimes I've actually used the color wheel for reference. But right now, I'm just showing you darks and lights just to get this little short video clip out of the way this morning. There you are. And notice I'm painting all over the whole place. When you're painting all over the whole place, you should have paint everywhere within the first couple of minutes. Short, choppy strokes. I like to always start off loose. You've heard me say this many times under every great painting is a great loose abstract. Do it quickly. If you slow down, you'll start to muck it up. I'll come back in here now. That color pulls it all together. And while I had that brush, color on my brush, I'm gonna continue on painting everywhere else too. Again, it helps to hold the whole piece together. I'm going to lighten up the table now. It's white. Short, choppy strokes. Again, show everyone how much fun it is to paint, not how complicated and how boring it is. You want someone to look at your painting and say, wow, you're just having way too much fun. That's right, I am. Let's go in with a couple more highlights. Really kick it up there. Sunny morning. Hit the highlight of the rims. Come all the way down there. And for the sake of this particular video, that painting is done. Short, choppy strokes, dark lights, whether you're doing balls, vessels, baskets. If it holds something, it's a vessel. And so do a lot of these over and over and over. Remember, practice, practice, practice. Okay, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. But I have some important information uh, about my next workshop in Santa Fe. Hey, my next art expo is in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's Artisan Expo and it's September the 29th to October the 2nd. You've got to go there. A lot of artists are teaching, the lots of, but if you want to know the ones I'm doing, go to my website, link onto my classes. I'll be doing a lot of subjects similar to these and landscapes and florals and a bunch of crazy stuff too. I hope to see you there, if not sooner. Take care. Thanks for watching.